My Carcamaniacs out there, this is Carcamo, the Forger of Pain, and welcome to Carcamo Gaming. You know what? I love Mega Man with a raging passion. And in order to celebrate the Blue Bomber, what better month than Mega March? And I want to share with you guys a little special piece of my collection. I have here the GameCube controller to commemorate Mega Man X collection. Here we go! Oh, sorry, uh, wrong character. Um, I'm Mega Man? This little rapscallion was developed by Newbie Tech, the same company that brought us that kick-ass chainsaw controller for Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube and PlayStation 2. But you know what? That's another video for another day. Let's just keep focus here. You'll notice two things with this controller. Number one, the grip and everything, it's pretty functional and comfortable. And number two, it's smaller in size, comparing it to its original big brother. And that's no disadvantage by any means. I mean, unless you're Andre the Giant. With a transparent blue plastic, in which case you're able to see the circuits inside the controller. The handle prongs, where you put both your hands, have a magnificent artwork. The start button is based on the red crystal X has on his helmet. For a moment I thought it had a light or something, which is a no-brainer, but I guess joke's on me, it doesn't light up. This product is really well made, and it's very pretty. But I'm gonna level with you guys. The design of the GameCube controller has never been my favorite. Heck, I hate it. At least for me, it's pretty uncomfortable when playing 2D platformers. Leave me with my NES, SNES, or any PlayStation controller for that matter. Like I said before, I just wanted to share a little piece of history and my collection with you guys. And by the way, by the making of this video, I just found out I had no idea this thing was, you know, that rare. There's only three on eBay and loose, it costs 115 bucks and 300 smackaroos complete. That's right, $300. And I'll doubt the price will go down. That's what she said. But anyway, I don't recommend going out of your ways to purchase this thing. You know, it's pretty nice and everything, y bien bonito, but you know, just don't do it. And you want to know a weird fact, I guess, is that the same company made Another GameCube controller for Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> and you know guys, I just want to thank you for watching this video, you know, like, Subscribe if you haven't and tell me in the comments if you would like me to do a video of the chainsaw controller for Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 2 because you know that's the one that I own. And as always, this was Karkamo Gaming. Like, 
or die. 